everyone i am deepika and i am going to talk about uh, a part of work up of an infertile couple which is often uh, uh, neglected but is very important uh, for the patient because uh, this includes the blood work up of the patient and if any of the parameters are wrong then you can forget the about taking the patient to the ot for opu so you'll have to correct them and uh, play uh, and uh, see to it so this uh, is mainly in three parts first is the biochemistry second the serology and third is the hormonal work up uh, talking about the female uh, uh, the female uh, uh, female part uh, th this will include the hemogram and the glycosylated hemoglobin uh, blood sugars liver function test then the uh, uh, kidney function test which includes the urea creatinine uric acid ecg if indicated a urine routine microscopic examination thalassemia screening and after all these blood tests we go to the pac so if the hemoglobin is less you will have to correct it a deranged blood sugar that means uh, it also gives you an opportunity to counsel the patient for changing the lifestyle if it's in the borderline if the glycosyl or uh, obviously if it is raised more than 6 then you have to put on the drugs then uh, a good liver function has to be there because many of the drugs you are giving to the patient have to be metabolized a good renal function uh, probably if god forbids uh, the patient is going to ohss this the condition will deteriorate much if the kidneys are not functioning properly okay and uh, about the male uh, will do a hemogram obviously the blood sugars so if the patient is a, an over diabetic he can also have retrograde ejaculation and the sperm counts can be low and also for the male patient Uh, then we come to thalassemia screening that has to be done for both the couple uh, in the infective serology we have hiv hbsag nthcv and the vdrl then among the hormones ths is done for all the female patients prolactin for all because uh, it can be very easily corrected for the male patient we do prolactin in cases of male uh, sexual dysfunction or if we suspect hypogonadotropic hypogonadism vitamin d3 is not done for all because doing a test is expensive then uh, supplementing the patient because most of the indian population is insufficient or deficient in vitamin d3 and uh, then the last thing amh uh, which is the test which we do like uh, on the very first visit amh test uh, doing it or not doing it depends upon uh, your experience if you are good at uh, your ultrasounds you can skip the tests and after all the tests are fine then uh, you do a pre anesthetic checkup and then only you can take the patient for ovum pickup otherwise you'll have to forget for a few months thank you